I thought, uh, real quick, I, I thought, you know, obviously it was a good team win. Um, we did we did a lot of things well tonight um, that, you know, statistically we talk about. Um, and, you know, you're always adjusting and getting used to the short week schedule when you're at home, the short week schedule when you're on the road. We talked all week about a fast start. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought they, they handled the mental part of it um, relative to um, – it's just easy to complain on a short week, and then pretty soon no one really cares. So uh, I thought our preparation for those two days was good. I didn't want to go through all the stats with them, but first half leads. Uh, I've said this. I think I said it to you guys. Um, you know, fare better for those teams. And then, um, yeah, I think for me, I, did, I know I wasn't going to tell them that, you know, my teams are – us, we were 5-0 and with the lead and 0-5 when we didn't have one. That's the last thing I wanted <laughs> to mention to them. Um, but I thought we ran the ball well, of course. Um, defensively, man, we, we had pressure. Um, you know, they're nicked up. And I told DA, get healthy, because, you know, they have a good football team and there are a lot of their players right now uh, uh, weren't able to play. So, um, but overall, pleased with uh, how we played. Even though they're nicked up, there's no feeling sorry for teams in the NFL. No, listen, it's just the business we're in. And you just play. Um, you know, you have injuries. It's, 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 it's really the truth. No one else outside the building, you know, cares. They just, you know, at the end of the day, they, uh, they want to see the end result. And I understand it. The broadcast showed you receiving the game ball. What did that mean to you? It meant a lot. I think. Fortunately, and I say this respectfully, I mean, it was just two days of prep and we're here, and so not a lot of sleep. And so it, um, it kind of, I think, um, it keeps your mind off of it because you, there's so many things you have to get done. And my big concern was just not having enough rest. And so I slept today for a while and then came over here early just to uh, um, kind of get, you know, get started. Um, going through the, the game plan again. Um, it, but it meant a lot um, because, you know, there, there were a lot of, you know, moments here. And you get a chance to see old players that are, you know, that are here. And, and then to be with this team and uh, this ownership group, um, it's, the, it's the reason you miss it. You know, the one year out and you miss uh, relationships and you miss – Making memories, um, you know. I, it, it's it's uh, it's like I told him a couple of weeks ago. Sertan's interception, you know, right in front of our bench. Um, there'll be a day when I don't remember his name, and you know I'm having applesauce out of a straw, but I'll remember that play. And uh, so that part of it, being around young people and uh, having a chance to. Um, be part of their journey and coach coach them uh, is a pretty good job, and uh, I'm thankful for it. So, um, yeah, it was kind of emotional. So, how different was it just walking into the building, driving up and all? Well, I this so this building's changed over the years. Um, one time, I think I was an assistant with the Cowboys. We played here. Um, the locker room used to be <clears throat> you used to walk across the field. I'd never really been in the visitors' locker room here, um, and it's all been. Again, renovated every time they have a Super Bowl here. There's modifications, um, so it was. It was. Look, it was definitely. I'm glad I was here early, like early, early, like, like six hours before the game, early, and just uh, had plenty of time to grab some coffee and. Um, but, yeah, I think, I think what happened here, and I'm going all the way back in 2005 before. Any of us had arrived. Um, a lot changed with that city, and I think more than any one of us, any player, any coach that was a part of the '06 and on, um, it was it was bigger than football. Um, there were schools, hospitals not open. There were a lot of things that were um, up in the air, and uh, and so you appreciate those people that came. Um, 
when they, they didn't necessarily have to. And I think that, that was a unique uh, time and a unique, none of us were prepared for that. You know, we were all anxious and excited about our new job opportunities, but none of us understood what it would mean and, and how big it would become. So I think that, that part of it coming back here is, is, is different um, and kind of special. Yeah, I was, I was at, look, he, he, um, you know, long before, when the game came out, I, this is the night that he wanted to come in. Um, they have a Hall of Fame and then they have, you know, a ring of honor. So that he was being put in their Hall of Fame. And, uh, and so it was good that, to see him. I mean, we had a chance, Streep, a few of us, like really quick went over to the Hilton, um, and just thanked him. Um, we were all kind of underdressed in our travel sweats. This is a city that dresses up a lot. And, uh, um, but it's always good to see him. I feel like we've seen each other quite a bit. He's been to our practices, um, you know, and so, but anytime you see that whole group, you know, even pregame, you know, yapping a little bit at us, um, that was fun. Yeah. So, you ever think that? You know, with it being eight years in between visits and you're in the AAC, that this could be the last time you ever coach in this place? Um, I don't think it's the last time I'm ever going to coach in this place. Yeah. This is the last team I hadn't beaten. Um, <laughs> you talked about getting off to a fast start. How important was it getting off to a fast start, running the ball, and how good was Javante Williams tonight? Um, man, he had to have been good. I didn't see all the numbers, but we actually were going to come out um, throwing early. Mixing in the run, the read option, some of the RPOs. Um, man, Bo did a, a real good job. We got a penalty called on one that I've just never, it was an impossible penalty. He threw the ball to Bailey in 0.5 seconds, and they called someone downfield. Um, it can't happen. I mean, it's just an impossibility. But anyway, I, I thought all of that clicked. We blocked him, and uh, and you, you get a sense right away how you're matching up. And then really from the second, late second quarter, third quarter on, it was pressure, pressure. You know, and so you're, we got a lot more zone tonight from this team. Um, I think probably to keep more eyes on Bo relative to his ability to scramble when, when teams are playing man. But he did a good job with his feet. Um, Javante, uh, you know, had some real good runs. Um, all of them, you know, those guys blocked them. You know, when you have a night like that rushing, the time of possession, um, it almost, the script was flipped a little from last week. And so, fortunately for our defense, they got some rest. You said, you said, you said go ahead. All of it was clicking on offense. You scored six straight possessions in the middle. Yeah, we, we kicked too many field goals, though, but go ahead. Is this the ideal offense when you picture the offense? There's, there's no, we're in, you know, we're building. You know we're we're figuring it out, but I would I would say this respectfully to the question. You just have to work on how to win that game. You know, in other words, you don't take and say this is how we're going to play regardless. And so, you know, based on who we were playing tonight, that's what we felt like we needed to do to win that game. Um, that might change a week from now, but um, and certainly the reps our young quarterbacks getting, the young receivers are getting. Um, you know, we're young as a team, and so that's invaluable. I was going to ask sort of a similar line. How, during the season, how much can you continue to refine sort of what it is? That yeah, a lot. It, well, and, and like what we're good at, and then how we approach it, how we present it. Um, that's what you think about a lot as a coach. Like, you know, all right, are we doing the things, not just that, that, that suit our players defensively, offensively or in the kicking game. Um, and so that's, look, it's a work in progress. And uh, it was a good step tonight. Yeah. There was also a bit of a homecoming for VJ. He's from New Orleans. Just with the Man, there was a number of people. So VJ's from here. Um, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm, and I'm not, there were a number of people that are from here. Um, Bidet showed me a picture. You know, they, his family relocated after Katrina from here to Maryland. And he showed me a picture of his dad. He was 12 years old um, with the Saints jersey on at training camp. And that's when, you, you know, you feel older, you know. And uh, so there, there's a, a number of um, 
players that are from this region um, and a number of people that have been here. And uh, it's a good win for all those guys. Yeah, I look, um, with the injuries they had at receiver, there's, there's certain people that you have to really focus on. Kamara being one, Juwan Johnson, uh, obviously the quarterback's got a little bit of moxie. He was someone we liked a lot coming out and spent a lot of time on him. Um, and we knew it would be a boot naked, you know, um, but I, but I thought we handled the run and then, um, and then, you know, we were able to get, get enough pressure. We got off the field a lot on third down. I'll bet, uh, I haven't seen the numbers yet, but I'll bet they were very good. Um, four sixteen, and I'll bet two or two of them probably came in the last six minutes. So, um, they were really good. They were really good. You mentioned beating 32 teams, Sean. I think only eight coaches have done that. Does that mean you're old, you're good? What is it? Mean? it means you had two jobs, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you have to have. I, someone had brought that statistic up, and we were trying to guess that list. Foxy's one of them. Um, and anyway, someone had brought it up yesterday or the day before. And um, I mean, you don't think about things like that. Uh, and but I know you have to work at two different organizations to do it. So um, I'm glad I'm here. That, that stretch right before the game, you got to go over and see the family. And I, I think maybe see Drew briefly there. That's not obviously common for a game. No, I would like normally it. see I would normally see my wife and some you know, my kids will come to three or four games. And then there they were. And then there were some others that were there, close friends. Um, you know, Good friends of mine um, that I've known for a long time. Um, so that, uh, yeah, that was a little bit. I, I would say a little bit more than normal. As far as uh, warm fuzzies go, there he is. <laughs> how did? Uh, how would you say the welcome compared to what you might have expected? I, th I thought it was great. Um, yeah, it, look, the people. Um, you don't forget the faces, the smiles, the dialect, or anything, and so. Um, they were great. So have you been in the restaurants up here? I haven't. Um, man, we, I just can't. I mean, it's hard to explain the schedule on a Thursday game. Um, and there's a lot of texts and calls to return. But you, you really just have to get your tickets squared away and then just grind. Um, and that's why, you know, sleeping, you know, this morning was important for me at least. And then getting here early and then really, you know, kind of, Getting, getting ready for the game, and, and uh, um, we'll have more time maybe after it all calms down. <coughs> Connor and Megan wanted to come to this game because they're growing up here. And well, stuff. yeah, they listen. They they came. Shoot, they were I think six and nine. Um, they've been to over 150 games here, um, but they come. They'll probably see five games a year, but they're, they, this was definitely a game they were going to come to. Um, we used to play touch football after the games were over, win, lose, or draw with the with the kids. And then the problem was the visiting locker room players would come out, and it was like you had to stop and wait. Um, there were certain things we just did for families that that we felt were important. Um, so they kind of grew up here. Yeah. With, with, especially with how late your your bye week is, do you do extra self scout? Like, do you use this little break in, in that regard, or is it more just about getting? Well, we, we we're always. It's a great question. We are always updated to what we are, who we are, self scout wise. Like it's constant. Like all right, this personnel grouping. Like, you know, because you, you don't want to get into the 80s or 90s. You know, you want to be into the 70s or lower. You know, if you're in this, you do that. And so, um, that used to be much more difficult to do or keep track of, and it's much more easier now to um, to have the data available and then to try to all right put out heavy and throw it put out light and you know it, it's um it's easier to do that um for the players i think the rest is important i think the same for the coaches coach you, you said you were pleased with the way Bo played without obviously yeah. watching the film yeah what was that? man i he just i i made this comment to you know the to you guys earlier when we drafted him you watch him play you, you don't feel like you're in harm's way Again, he's tough to sack. His ball position, you know, location. 
Um, made a lot of plays with his feet. Um, man, had some close, you know, big play opportunities. But um, there's a confidence that as a play caller you get, um, and it allows you to be more aggressive. And so we wanted to tonight, um, you know, come out in that kind of a mindset. Um, these guys, when healthy, are really good at both corners and the nickel. That, that was one of the challenges, um, those three players. Um, and a few of them, a lot of them got hurt. Um, but certainly when you're playing that position, and I'm talking about quarterback, and you, you have the rushing numbers and the down and distance numbers, I, don't, I can't recall looking down. And there's four sections, five third down sections, third and one, short yardage. And then there's these... And I can't recall the fourth box um, tonight at all. I don't think we ran a play in a, you know, from our longer yardage box, and uh, makes it easier. Coach, uh, as someone who has experienced both highs and lows sure. in the city, what did you say to the Saints fans who are maybe growing increasingly frustrated with, say, Coach Allen or the staff? Or yeah, I I think this. I think I would start with the leadership and the ownership, Miss Gale and Mickey and. Um, um, obviously, certainly with Dennis, uh, that leadership group, you guys all saw how they played early in the season before they got hit with the injury bug. Um, they were, um, man, two good wins in a row. So, um, man, this, there's so much game. There's so many games ahead of us now. Um, you know, they'll, uh, they'll bounce back.